It is time now for the evening rush. The New Mexico Department of Health encouraging anyone who received treatment at a downtown Albuquerque spa to get tested. The Department of Health says two clients of the now shuttered VIP spa on 9th and Tejeras have tested positive for HIV. The department wants anyone who may have had an injection related procedure at that spa to get tested. Details on always on KRQE.com. The state says they were. I'll take it from here. We are looking at a storm system that's going to work its way through the four corners. It will continue to bring showers across the north tonight and across eastern New Mexico during the overnight hours where we could see a couple severe storms. The trend tomorrow will be for some showers early across the north and then clearing skies. The state says they were completely unaware of homeless camps and are now working to clean them up. This in the area of Rio Grande, just north of I-40. Officials say it takes about three days to fully clean up a site. The land is owned by the State Department of Transportation, so it could take longer for that area to be cleaned up. A new audit is calling out Albuquerque's Department of Municipal Development for doing a poor job managing its payroll. According to the audit, the DMD paid nearly $9,000 of unapproved overtime and additional birthday leave over two years. Supervisors are now getting better training at how to use the online time card system. New at six, we could soon find out if state regulators will reconsider who will pay for a new transmission line. The Public Regulation Commission ordered Facebook to pay $39 million to help pay for a new transmission line. Now PNM says it is filing for a rehearing to clarify the line will benefit all customers, not just Facebook. Also new at six, the leader of an armed group accused of illegally detaining asylum seekers in New Mexico will stay behind bars until trial. Trial. Larry Hopkins pleaded not guilty to firearms charges during a detention hearing today. A federal prosecutor argued Hopkins posed a flight risk and danger to the public if released. No contest. After that plea, an Albuquerque dad is scheduled to be sentenced in August. Evan Ritchie faces 18 years behind bars for nearly beating to death his infant son. Today, he changed his plea on six charges of child abuse. Last March, Richie admitted to choking and headbutting his four-month-old son when the baby would not stop crying. A processing center for asylum seekers in Las Cruces will keep their doors closed for now. The city of Las Cruces says they were supposed to be receiving and processing migrants this morning, but they are waiting to open the center until Internet service is established. The facility has room to support up to 170 migrants at a time. Three former prosecutors for the Doña Ana County District Attorney's Office are suing the DA's office, claiming they were not treated the same as their male counterparts. They claim they were paid less, were forced to adhere to sexist stereotypes and were retaliated against when they went to HR. They are seeking damages. Happening now, forest officials are asking campers to be sure to extinguish campfires. According to the Santa Fe National Forest, elevations lower than 9,000 feet have more of a chance of experiencing fires. This because they can dry out more quickly. Officials say they expect, though, a good runoff from the snowpack. Looking ahead, work on a major off ramp could cause delays for drivers for about two weeks. Starting Wednesday, the I-25 southbound off-ramp at Gibson will be shut down for bridge maintenance. The right lane on Gibson will also be closed in both directions. It's expected to reopen May 14th. The Metro Threat Index for tomorrow actually goes down to a four. We still have a chance at a couple showers, especially early on, but then things will quiet down. One of our coolest days of the week for tomorrow with temperatures in the high 60s before a warming and drying trend. You will soon have a chance to buy the furniture that used to sit in the governor's mansion when Susana Martinez was in office. That furniture is in a Santa Fe warehouse run by the state's general services department. City and state agencies have first pick, then nonprofits, and finally the general public. No word on when that will happen. Kids can now enjoy a new play set in the city of Roswell. The 70 year old metal rocket slide at Spring River Park and Zoo was closed in the winter because of safety concerns. But yesterday, city councilors unveiled its replacement. No, at six, you will notice some familiar sights in the new Jumanji movie. This video posted by actor Jack Black is from the set of the movie, which filmed in Shiprock. They say the production employed 100 New Mexico crew members. It opens December 13th. In September, you'll be able to see superstar Sting in Taos. The Grammy Award winner and Rock and Roll Hall of Fame member is set to perform in Kit Carson Park. Tickets go on sale this Friday. Find details at always on krqe.com.